Amarino Zakis. Ooh, 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 ooh. Amarino Zakis. Maybe we should try to go for the legend wild with this sickness. Back with the block rocking beats. The makers. I'm keeping it. I'm keeping it. I'm holding it. I'm running it. I hope that he is not an aggro guy. The makers. Whew, dodges counter spell. Hey, by the way, I got I got some new sneakers. All right, first sneaker. Oh yeah, it's it's slightly hard to see because of the fact that uh, it actually has green on the laces, like a little bit of green. But I have a green screen, so when I do this, you actually just see right through it. Uh, but the sole is green. Yeah, it's just it's just a nice black shoe. It's got some red on it. Yeah, feels pretty cool. Uh huh. But here's here's the shoe that I'm real excited about. Okay. Here's the shoe. Ah, uh, yeah. I like the Tortola and Shell Razor. Here's the shoe I really like. Oh my God! It's yellow. It's so yellow. Look at this. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh, it's got the yellow and the blue. Mmm, shoestring, man. Yes, so yellow. I haven't owned a good pair of shoes in a long time. Oh, I'm so into it, man. By the holy light. Can he kill this on turn three? No, and we do have the Entomb answer in a few turns when I actually would be more worried. So, Karak Hapov, I would not be surprised if this particular individual were a Fruz Mage. Very well. Give him cake. Don't touch that! For those wondering, this deck costs about 17,000 dust. <laughs> Holy shit. Amarino Domozakis. I'm a Swedish fish, as I'll admit that my country has the best color combination. Yeah, dude, yellow and blue look so good together. They look good. So this could be a duplicate. Why not, man? Also, Bruin's color shown as betraying the USC spirit. Ha ha ha, take that. Our friend the 4 3 might be. Oh, give me something good. Give me something juicy, man. Amazing. Ah. Oh. Fuck. Okay, so this is. This will give him two of those. I think I play hard around duplicate. I think I play very hard around it. Trading an Entomb for Reno Jackson's just does not feel that bad for me. What to do? What to do? I do think that that is a duplicate. Savage. Okay. 
therefore, if I do... This kind of sucks, but I do this. That gets effigied. Great. Great. Playing around it in the ex exact same way. My fate is sealed. Hit like this. Pop like this. Kill like that. Heal up here. It was correct for me to attack or to Holy Nova before attacking, because then this his effigy is on the two two, not on the three five, because the three five was summoned before the four one was. I think I pass for a few turns to Dragonfire Shifting Shade. I am not Did you consider healing the Chow instead? Um, yeah. Take on. Uh, I thought Trace would be a little better. Yep. Going to heal again. Going to heal again. And then we're intending on Dragonfire Potioning and then this thing. This is nice. This is a nice pickup. Let's see what we get. Whoa. I think this. I think this. I think this. Ice block immediately. I'm just like... Pfft, spit my drink out. Excitement. Um... Maybe it is ice block. Amazing. Maybe it is ice block. Maybe it is ice block. I think it's ice block. Because, I mean, I get a little more short term value. expect this not to be a mere entity. That would really surprise me if it was a mere entity. Okay. have to go for a... <clears throat> a five mana -er. I think I'm gonna have to do this. Go for the five mana -er. Go for a ten mana spell. We could maybe turn them all into sheeps. I wonder. Well, I have the excavated eagle that I can cast at some point. I have to block. I think I actually should go full ten mana. I mean, that's that's good, certainly. Not sure how I actually win this, though. Yahoo! I'm not sure. Let's, let's count how much damage he can do, yeah? 
crazy ice block, I know, right? So, let's see here. So this is 10 damage. This is... Well, the question is, does he have a frost bolt or not? I think that's it. I think we just have to hope that that's... We should have to hope that he doesn't have a frost bolt, a frost bolt or fireball, and, and I would expect that he does. But I, I think that this is the thing that maximizes our chance of winning. Okay. Yeah, because this deck often does not even run fireballs; it just runs frost bolts and shit. So that way, it can have effigies and duplicates and things like that. Oh, that was nice. Shit. Damn. That was nice. That was very nice to play by him. Nicely set up. Yeah, I mean, I, I have played those kinds of sort of grinder mages in the past. And they tend not to run fireballs. Um, they they certainly run Antonitis plus a few spare part generators. But that game was cool, man. We we almost pulled off a very nice response there. Teranda versus Andue. The light shall bring victory. Can you give me strength? I still really think that my biggest mistake was keeping awaking awaken the makers. I've had a lot more success when I just chuck it back. I think I chuck it back 100%. I think 100% of the time we chuck it back. I think that's the way to play. Because I don't really want to run Amara until I'm slightly low or I've gotten Major Domo. And I have a lot of ways to keep myself alive other than that. So I think, I think it's official. This is an Awaken the Maker's deck where you chuck it back every single time. How sick is that? And then we have Shadow Visions to rip it anyways. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, huh? How about we just get Awaken the Makers? Oh, come on. Since we're against a priest that hasn't done anything, I think that's a good a good option. I wonder what my win rate is after chucking it back. Start of every single uh In the name of the mana. Fresh from Doom. <laughs> it's... I found the card. I found the card. Don't you worry, I discovered Doom. I discovered it. You know, we have not a lot of good ways to deal with the Dragon Priest because he tends to have low health, high damage. Low health, high damage. La 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 la. High health, low damage. High health, low damage is what I meant to say. La 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 la. So if we can doom. Oh my god, wow, we are we are set, we are ready to rock. See you later, Jack of Queens, you're dead. Sancho the Seventh says, I have to make a grocery run. Don't do anything too awesome while I'm gone. Oh, it's gonna get done. Paradoxically, these are often the only really good Shadow War death targets in here because there's a lot of 4X and 3X cards. There's a lot of Yaceras and Asia Drakes and Primordial Drakes and all that Shiatsu. But if we... Kill this puppy dog. We're gonna doom our way into winning, man. Doom! Dragonfire Potion doesn't do much. Light Bomb doesn't do much. Excavated Evil struggles. Holy Nova struggles. We have a big struggle full time sweeping against this asshole. So, it's great that we have a doom. 
Doom is a good card. It kills everything. It lets me draw shit. It's a good card. I'm gonna recommend it if you're gonna play on Hearthstone. <laughs> My god, there's so many high power plays in Wild. Wow! Holy moly! Holy moly! Die, 5 6. Oh. Die, 5 6. Oh. Excuse me. What's it going to be, 12-12? Gosh, I didn't even have to use anything. It's significant. This is... Guys! Alright, let's discover all good things. It's exactly what we've chosen. So, there you have it. Go ahead and heal this. Staying at 29 is really important to me. Oh, Dragon Wing Death Larod is going to be super nice for when we nuzz off. Start of the turns. What was that? From another spite historian. health a little lower. Oh my god, he's a 4-8. I'm so excited to use Doom. Can't even tell you, man. This might even be the better one to do. This will give all my minions 6 health and then deal 6 damage, so they'll just be the exact same again. Which one do we want? Let none survive. Well, I have a scaled nightmare. <laughs> Death does not scare me. Death, just blue, 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 blue. There's one thing death doesn't do, it's scare me. Okay. Say so, man. Boom. Feels good. This feels good. What kind 
A dragon priest runs two in her fire, says Acriel. A dragon priest who's ready to go. One dragon, two dra- kill him. It is the method Lology. I wonder. Uh. Hmm. Oh my gosh, yeah. I'm gonna kill that one. Well, I know I know that's not the play that we do yet, right? So we first hit here. We second hit here. I don't really need to heal this, but, you know, may as well start getting this high for when. Want to run Major Domo down without killing myself. This deck has everything I love. It has Shadow Form. This deck has everything I love. We got Major Domo in there. That's about it. Those are the two things that I really love. Boom. Boom! I'm telling you! Boom! Bang! I really need to awaken the Maker soon, you know? Hold on to some of these bad boys. So I'm gonna do this. This. I don't want to draw, by the way. I don't really have a strong reason to draw, because I have, like, the most powerful shit in the world, and Doom draws for each card destroyed, and I'm gonna want to run this. I don't really... I'm not looking for anything. I have what I need, so... Uh, I think it's very important that I not draw, actually. Uh, no, not the 2, 3, no... Oh, that's what I'm talking about right there. Blam! Isn't that sad? We've won. You have I think we won a long time ago, but I think that's where we won. Dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. 16 and 7, still maintaining a 70% win rate with our deck. Time to cast Doom. That would have been fun. Oh my gosh, all dimensions, all realities. Hmm. Stars, it seems like Awakening is off throws the bottom two cards. That's good. We want them at the bottom with the way we're playing. Wanna chuck it back and build ourselves a little a little cool board, you know, if he has another one. But then why Prince Malkazar? But then why that? Oh, we have a Shadow Word Death for this. Oh, 
Shimmering Tempest. Something's gone awry. Something broke. Just chucked his turn away. Things are just going real well. Like, weller than I would expect. Amazing. I don't think I need to do anything at all. Disconnect. Did I did I disconnect a snowman? The snowman. Did I disconnect? It says zero viewers for me in the mayo. Well, okay, cool. This jungle hides many secrets. Shit. Really? Is that so? This is good. This is what we want. We want him we want him to get low. And we can massage some light balm onto the situation. And now that we've gotten rid of this, he has a significant amount of... Or we have a significant amount of point removal. All realities, all dimensions. Ermagerd, all realities. The spirits be this. Can I get up? <laughs> yes. Dun -dun 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 well, that's great. That's great. It's good to know Brothers, that we're still alive. Brothers, feed my my call. Feed it. Now, do I want to sludge belch it? I think I might want to sludge belch it. Nah. This is just such value. I'm at 26 health. I can probably get to Amara if I'm starting to get low, but it'll be very hard for me to get low with his lack of board. It's going to be hard for him to do big burn plays with Prince Malkazar. Man. He has, like, long chains of things that give him one once. Wow. Probably in Tomb is the thing that I really want. Probably in Tomb. Just our high, our high power stuff. God, this deck is fun as hell. God, this deck is great. 70% win rate thus far. 70%. I mean, we haven't streaked very much, but... Great. Fair trade. Old man dies and a young girl lives. Fair trade. God, Sin City. Sin City is probably my number one favorite movie ever. Love Sin City. Rewatched it again recently. I love when Marv says, sometimes I ask pretty hard. That's such a great not line. Create, uh, yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking 10 costers. Gain an armor's good against a mage that appears to be a little bit slow and grindy. Dealing some damage. We want the creatures. I actually kind of like doing this because I can just play this next turn. Oh god! Oh, 
Yeah. God, that's, that line is so great. Did he just mad bomber me? No, he just he just drew that. Is this wasteful? I don't actually think that this is wasteful to use this death on that. Wow! Dude, I love this line so much. It says, when I need to find something out, I just go out and find somebody that knows more than me. And I go and I ask them. Sometimes I ask pretty hard. God, that's so awesome. Every Everything that Marv says in that entire thing is just the best quote I've ever heard. Well... That's so good. Oh, God. Oh, yes. God, I love Sin City. That movie's so good. Now I'm just thinking about Sin City. This game's won. I don't think we can lose. I think this is an unlosable game. I am Sean the Invincible. Sean the Unlosable. Sean the Unkillable. Sean the All Day All Skillable. Shoot the 3 2. Boom. Actually, let me hit here. Let me see if I can do this now. Bomb. Well, shit balls. Okay. Oh, baby. Let's go do some work. Gruel, you say? I will entomb him. I will entomb him as hard as I can. I love this deck that lets me run every card I ever wanted. Yes! Oh, God. Go and I ask them. Sometimes I ask pretty hard. Oh! Someday I'll be just like you. Kill it. <laughs> Do we twisting nether now? Okay, how much damage do I take? Do I take five damage? Yeah. I think I'm doing something like this. We want to do this game. I think I'm gonna go for the cool play. How's the guy supposed to be cool when that happens? I see how to be cool. Amazing. I wore it better. I need to find some information, I just go out and ask somebody who knows more than me. Sometimes I ask pretty hard. God, I love Marv. And my mitts. God, Marv is so cool. What is it gonna be this time? Armor up against the priest! Oh, I don't think so. Oh, I don't think so. Ooh, is this where we throw?
Okay, well. There's a way out of this. There's a way out of this. They just didn't make the click noise. Alright, we're gonna do it! We're gonna do it! We lose the armor, but we'll gain one Amara. Look, back flame geyser. Whoops. Let none survive, baby! It's good. It's hard to deal with a major domo. You make me feel like a natural major domo. I think we're gonna win this game. I think we're winning a lot of our games. I'm amazed at the flexibility of this. I'm excited to climb up the ranks and be up against some thick, sick baller decks to really test this. None survive. Uh, feels good. It's a fun deck. It's a good deck. It's working so far for us. want to do 40 health Ragnaros because we want to see what he had first. How do you value this damn card? Huh? How do you value it? I think I chuck it. Well, we've drawn the nuts. We've drawn the nuts. I can kill that. Oh, can I ever kill that? Okay. Someday I'll be just like you. Oh, I see. He wants to try to speed it up a little bit. Let's go ahead and slow it down. I'm I'm not threatened. I'm not afraid. I can just zap this guy. Boom! Right in his head. Bam, no problem. I think, uh, probably, probably Death Lord. Good old Lord Death Lord seems good. Good old Tortoyan Shell, shell Man. Got some good power here, we got some good power. Why doesn't Day 9 wear headphones? I like being able to hear myself. That's the big one. Is that so? Is that so? Very well. Very, very well. Sounds great. I really keep getting... I really keeps trying to do the multi-line emote and just keeps fucking getting interrupted. That's so funny. Oh god, I'm screenshotting that. That's the greatest thing ever. Alright, okay, everyone's, everyone stop talking. Hold on. There it is. Make sure that's the right push notification. <laughs> uh, man. <laughs> it's the funniest thing. Oh god. Are you really gonna trade that 5-1 in? I feel like you're not. I feel like you're not gonna want to do that. Something something malfunctioned. There was a costume malfunction here. <laughs> Just like BOOM! Light bomb it. I am eternal. 
Got some eternal echoes. Oh my god, this is oh yeah, I'm just pacing this again. That is that needs to get sticky somehow. Hi, Seraph. Oh, you're upside down now. Do you want tummy time? Is it tum guys, I didn't I didn't realize it was tummy time. I didn't realize it was. I didn't realize. Hi, sweetheart. Ah, thanks for meowing and flipping upside down. Oh yes, tummy time. He must stand up. Now what could be going on here? He's at seven. I mean, he's in he's in bad shape, but I, I think actually just getting rid of this guy is so critical. Well, that's the most broken thing in the entire universe. I mean, I am scared about being burst down, so I want to start to counteract that. Jeez, I got Primordial Glyph. That's so unfair! The unfairness of that is ridiculous. How I wish I had Light Bomb. Right. Just go ahead and... Oh, it costs four because that's fair. Goodness. Someone's gonna tune in right now and be like, okay, it looks like he's running a Grim Patron in here, huh? Nicely done, Ayarly. Nicely done. Shit. This is bad. This is very, very bad. Uh, can I get a, uh, I don't know. Uh, Potion of Madness is good. Uh, okay. Uh, um, um, okay, so if we Potion of Madness, we can get one, two, two out of the three are good for us, so I think I'm gonna, yep, just always get what we need, that seems good, yep, yep, just putting them, putting them back, throwing them back, man, whoo, goodness, that was close. With a little luck, we can do anything. I serve the Fire Lord. I serve the Fire Lord. Oh my god, that's very, 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 very quite so scary. has to be done now. This deck is more obnoxious to kill than I remember. I mean, Flame Wakers steal so much damage. Because I he had lethal next turn otherwise. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. God, Flame Wakers with Primordial Glyph. <laughs> yeah. That is an obscene amount of damage, dude. I mean, we might be dead. Could be dead. <sighs> we 
It could be dead. I mean, he just needs a fireball. Should take 26 damage in that turn. Yeah, Flame Waker is so good. <laughs> Might lose. We were. I thought we were destroying him at the start. I forget how big these spikes are. Who knows what he's up to this time? I have no time for games. A major domo for the heals, you know. It's important to heal up. This I actually think is is, is the correct play. <laughs> oh god. Oh my god. Ah oh, fuck. You ripped it from the top. I think this was this would help us heal the eight though. I like that play. I like that play. Cause if we run down Major Domo, we can uh, we can s it has to die. We had a way to kill it. We can play Major Domo, swap the health with Vol'jin, Shadow Form, shoot it, become Major Domo. Back to eight. You know what I mean? So, there's a way to force it to die to heal the eight. And give us the Major Domo thing. Okay, so I'm gonna do it like this and this. I think maybe we should just slam up the healing there. Slam our healing up. I want to go on some streaks, man. That's really what I want. I want to go streaking. Okay. So we're first going to have to run out Death Lord. It's come to life. All right. La Blumeau is trying to figure out what to do on his turn two. Apparently, it's a rich, deep turn. But really, I have a pretty straightforward run out. I should play the Death Lord, play the Sludge Belcher. I really like the swap of the Piloted Shredder with the Tortolan Shell Razor. I think it's stronger. Time waits for no one. Man, Priest is so fun these days. Hmm, hmm I wonder. Oh, man. Boom! Yes, that's how we like to do it here at Day 9 TV. We like to just hope our opponent is AFK. how it's done. He opened up the stream, he's like, how do I beat that? And then all of a sudden his fingers just, they all stopped working and he was like, ah! He smashed his face on the keyboard until it exited him from the client. At which point it promptly crashed. It's Derpy Seal. give me strength. I think I do keep a Harrison Jones against a warrior. I think I do. I think I do for that sweet, sweet Arcanite Reap. Err. Although this opening does kind of suck in the pepperoni, you know what I mean? 
Small time buccaneer. Let's go ahead and just rip a potion of madness right away, huh? That's not bad. Ooh, Fly, Polly. My God, three one. Ugh. Well, this is good. This is this is this is what we're talking about, yeah. Look at that. Banox Space Bar says, has Sean commented on whether or not he's going to stream the campaign? I'm, I'm it very well, man. Oh my f fuck! Uh, so we lose immediately unless we rip a death. Well, X marks the spot. well, I think outside of that particular moment, I was feeling pretty good. Is that... I mean, do we just die now? Well, we can't Kazakus our way in anything magical. I think maybe if I... Yeah, I don't think there's anything that I can ever get here. Well, I can, I can get Shadow Madness here, and I can hit like that. Well, wow. All right. Well. Well. Maybe we don't keep Harrison Jones. I think maybe I need to not keep Harrison Jones. I think that's an error. Okay, it's a druid. Is Kazakh so good that we keep it every time? Probably. I think, I think the error in that game was not mulliganing for the... Alison Jones. This deck is so awesome. Major Domo is so awesome. Okay, so he hasn't done anything yet. He could be Jade. He could be... Ramp. Let's see what he does. Raza the Chained. Povo Gamer 100 Bits says, I'll be salty for you when you play against Pirate Warrior. No need to be salty. He's just a guy who wants points. Just a pointy guy. That's very good. I think I'm just gonna go for a 10 mana Mega Giga Man potion. I think dealing 8 damage is hard to go wrong with. Summoning 3 friendly minions that died this game is hard to go wrong with. It's a nice swing turn. I mean, I want to have swing turns in this matchup, so... Uh, I'm gonna play big dudes. Big, big dudes. That's gonna be my goal. Stay nice shirt today. It's an Asteroids shirt. It's a good old Asteroids shirt. Not a lot going on with Meldy. The Meldy. Anyone remember LD1 and LD2 and LD3? Those names ring a bell for everyone. The LD. The LD. 
So, I mean, we, we at this point still know as absolutely little as possible. Surrender to the plasm. Hmm. Jade with a really shitty draw. That looks reasonable, Modest Mouseketeer. It could be a Malagos Druid as well. No! Oh. And then he died. Alright, let's get a small guy out there. I mean, running in and then healing Roz is fine. Perfecto. And you also want to... So it's just a Jade Druid with a horrific draw. Nice. Like a really horrific draw. Time waits for no one. That was an incredibly bad turn. Goodness. Well, go ahead and just do some normal stuff. Yeah, I mean, the summon three minions deal eight damage is great as long as I don't summon too many small nerds. So I need to consider not summoning Zombie Chow Museum Curator, Cabal Courier, Death Lord, Dark Cultist, Garrison Commander, those ones. Woo! What to do, what to do. I got the best deal anywhere. Wow, man. Really? Whoa, this guy's draw is bad if he's running his auctioneer out that early. Oh, good. Blah, blah. No what? Blah, blah. Shadow Visions into... Looks like he's having good draws, at least. Point out some visions. Well, let's see here. We have that's a really nice selection of spells. I'm gonna go ahead and do this right now. Um, Shadow Word Death is fine. Okay, so I'm gonna start running Sylvanas. Any big scary nerds out? for this thing. This is the big face wrecker spell. So this guy it has to be running two Gatchets and Auctioneers because we saw Moonfire and he was willing to run out and a Gatchets and Auctioneer early. A lot of the Jade decks are just like, Jade, get big, Jade, 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 grow. Grow in the jadiest way you ever can. And after they uh, Jade it up super hard, They finish with a Gadgetson and Jade Idol. Um, what to do? I think I am going to run out the Museum Curator right now. Show us what you're drinking. Well, I was drinking water and coffee, but they're both empty, so I'm just a generally sad, thirsty person. 
So thirsty. I should refill on water. I should refill on water. I gotta refill on the water. What now? Oh, that's the death of the Drake if I ever saw it. Oh! Come on. Have I mentioned yet how important it is for me to get Shadow Form in this matchup? Because I think I have. I think I have and I think I did. Maybe just this is fine. I have no time for games. I mean, he's gonna just like run right into it, but I think that's okay. Because of this thing. I think he's okay. Oh, sweet as your Drake. Shadows finally one year in a row. Really, two. We'll count it as three. I saw Cradle to the Grave, which is just a. Just a movie, man. Enjoyed myself. I really like those 25% on Rotten Tomatoes action movies. Those are the best, man. The movie star Jet Li, DMX. And Jet Li just beat the shit out of everyone with no struggle at any point. It was great. What to do? Oh, do you mind if I roll me, baby? So that's going to be important later. Uh, this could be a really good minion. It could be a really bad minion. This is, seems important given how many. Death does not scare me. Given how many, uh, if I Nazoth, the two eights are very good defensive cards in that spot. Can a day nine one time just get a damn shadow form? Why is the quest not up? We mulligan it almost every game. I think correctly too, even. What? I got the best deal anywhere. That's the man to kill. Damn. Damn, damn. Not good. Holy smite a moly. Well, that helps just an enormous amount. That is just shockingly good for us. Um, Alright, well, let's go ahead and do it. The spirits be this. This is ridiculously painful though. This could this could just toast us and roast us. And absolutely hose us. Nobody will touch that. Man. Jet Li's the one. The one was awesome where there's like a multi-dimensional universe. Where there's multiple Jet Lees, and as different Jet Lees in different universes are dying, the remaining Jet Lees are getting stronger. Fuck, man, this really sucks. I'm telling you, it stinks. Oh, God. Oh, my God, we roasted ourselves. Uh, we, we basically need precisely Light Bomb now. 
really good at Hearthstone. Better than I ever thought. Very powerful. Very powerful Hearthstone player. what I would describe as bad shape because all his jade idols are gigantic now check out hero if you haven't seen it hero is so good it is so amazing that result is so bad that is so bad Ah, fuck, I can't win this matchup, dude. Shit. Ah, fuckity fuck shits. I needed my light bomb for this moment in the game. So we're gonna take a billion damage, and that's not good. I'm almost out of cards. I'm almost out of cards. Yeah, this three guys that died this game spell is not, not doing the hottest for us, you know? It's just not the hotness I was hoping it would be. Mmm. Boy. Wow. Hmm. Ah. Crank and Crank 2. Seen them. Love them. Great movies. Crank I really liked. Crank 2 is just weird. Crank 2 is just a weird-ass movie, man. Not much going on in the rest of this game. I think I needed to just be vastly more aggressive when I saw his thing running out. I think I had too much overconfidence with my ability to deal with the late game. Because I mean, now that I'm here, I just don't have any. It's it's more that I just don't have cards. Like, look at what's in my deck. Like, nothing is helpful. Nothing fixes or saves this at all for us. Uh, no, no, hey, hey, hey. Like, nothing really does it for us. I mean, Nazoth potentially gives us a little bit of uh, leeway, but I think I just needed to be vastly more aggressive and just build the board and shit on stuff. I'm not quite used to the amount of tools that I have in these games, and the amount of tools that they have in these games. Because he had a real bad draw at the start, and I think I just needed to punish that really hard. And not, like, try to wait it out. We have a Dark Cultist! Stand ready. Well played. Well played. Poopy dicks. So, I mean, like, at the end of all these games, I'm not thinking, like, ah, oh, it's like an unwinnable matchup. Except Dragon Priest. Dragon Priest I feel real bad about. But, like, that particular matchup, I think I just stylistically was leaning in the wrong way. Because if he is, if he's running out a lot of, or if he's not running out a lot of jade things early, I should just punish him and just try to kill him. Because I can with this deck, weirdly enough. Alright, it's a warrior. Alright. So I think that the last two losses we've had against the Pirate Warrior, I think that the mistake I made against Pirate Warrior was not or it was keeping Harrison Jones and you chuck that away. I think the problem that I had in that last game was I just could have killed him. I could have just killed him. At the start of the game if I'd just been playing more things. And I'd like to use that last game as an example for a question that came up way earlier in the day. Why did I not wait to save Reno uh, in the J. Druid matchup? And that game's a perfect example of why. I, like, run it out. 
and he has a 10 10 and 11 11 and 12 12 and i mean yeah, I, I got real lucky by being able to death and reno but then he just summoned a whole bunch of shit and i died all right lee bamf let's hope you're a pirate warrior let's do it Chronos says, what inspired you to play wild? Wow. Use the word inspire. What was the inspiration for doing it? I mean, I really, I'm just playing wild. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, man. Inspired. I'm going to start using that word with everything. What's inspiring you to drink coffee this morning? Turn three. That's what we're going to do every time we have a good play. All right, Lee Bamf. That's not right. Oh, that's... Just filthy as hell. Um. Tortol and Shell Razor. Okay, so here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna run out Raza, and we're just gonna be the king of the ping. It's Do you think this deck runs a Gore Howl? I think it might. I think it just might. Very well. Surrender to the plasm. Okay, so this guy is a D-Rattle deck. So what we need to do is we need to entomb that, I guess. It's a Stalag. We and we gotta we gotta we gotta snatch Fugan. Fugan is actually pretty highly statted for 5 mana, right? 4-7? What's the vanilla 5 mana cards? There's like vanilla 4-6s and stuff? Dabash. Shadow Visions is the first thing we want to do. And we want to get an Entomb! Is this good to run out or not? I'm going to say it is in this early game stage. He can't quite kill this with the weapon. He'll have to use probably two cards. I can begin to get damage in. Keep his shields low and no shields allowed, Lee Bamf. Oh my god, he could have just a card, True Heart. This is, this is the matchup that we're running Major Domo Executus for. This is it. It is this matchup. The Warrior. To be able to get out an armor buster. I see you. That seems wholly incorrect. I think I just exchange and continue on with my life. I can Volge in, but uh, my fate is this doesn't feel like a big threat. That was our goal of running out the man, anyways. I don't think I don't think we run the Volge in out because if this is a proper control warrior. Dragonfire Potion is actually okay here. I think so. We're going to be up against a lot of single point threats in this matchup. I don't think that we're going to be up against a lot of large board states that I would desperately need several clears for. I mean, I have an Excavated Evil. I have a Holy Nova. 
This feels in line with what we're expecting. Yeah, alright. Some sludge belchers for when he nasoths. Arguably could keep the um, big sweepers for the nasoth moments. Smokey pokey. And then I think we will. Now that I have like several nice, juicy answers to his sheet. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. Okay, so we have to entomb this. Let's do this. Have to entomb that, because he's already lost a... It's blah blag. Last last turn. I'm gonna kill this to get another draw. So we're gonna we're gonna lose some. We're gonna lose a little bit of health here. That's okay. We're gonna lose a little bit of health here. That's okay. That's okay. We disrupted him quite a bit. This is gonna be one of the hard turns that we face. Yeah, no, I'm I'm shocked too, man. All right, we have a clear. Clear and a heal, which is nice. It's a clear and a heal. He's used an execute already. The spirits be We're doing it. We're gonna play boom next turn. We already have a 6-8 that he's gonna have to deal with, and he doesn't have an execute, which is really nice. His shields are a little awkward for him to be able to shield slam. And then we're gonna run out and boom. I'm very, 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 very happy with that turn. Could have execute. It's very true. Could have it. Let the pain speak to me. Now, what is the best way to make use of this situation? I think that um, just delaying boom a turn is fine to ensure that he draws only a card. This is a very nice value card. I mean, he can obviously pop into here, but I can do this, this, and shoot two times. We have to be a little worried about Nazoth. Do we have to be a Sludge Belcher and a Stalag, and that's it, really? Yeah. I would probably respond to that by Nazothing as well. Probably respond to that by Nazothing as well. Boom! There it is. Okay, here we go. Get a little fired up here, man. Okay, let's first see if we can get a very sick death rattle. Just. This is the right choice, okay? I'm not, I'm not gonna do this. I'm not gonna do this. I already have enough to worry about. That one's like, Pansy, double domo, quest priest. Oh, come on. Pansy. All right, we got a Fugan in the deck that we snatched from him. We don't have a lot of low drops left. Awaken the Makers would be very nice to draw at any point. You dream, I kill. Got it. Good. Great. He's only getting one off this. He's only getting the one. So we get hits. 
Uh, we have some high costing guys. We would be walking into a brawl here. It's okay, because if he wins the brawl, we have some boom bots. If we lose the brawl, or if, excuse me, if he wins the brawl, we have some boom bots. If we win the brawl, we have any of these, which is fine. So many choices. So many choices. What is even going on? Okay, he, he's got a Ravaging Ghoul. Or Revenge, same thing. Gosh, six damage is so sick. Boom. Surprise, motherfucker. Okay. I think it might be better to just Harrison, keep the pressure on him. That's a good result. Now notice it says, if Stalag also died this game, summon Thaddeus. Which means, if this dies, it summons Thaddeus. Because that died on his side. Which I will then immediately Nazoth if he like brawls or something like that. Like it's like BAM Nazoth, like no fear. Just boom, throw it out right there. Behold the armies of Stormwind. He's gonna whiff hard, man. You know it. You and I both know it. There it is. BAM. Boom. Praise be to Jesus. Boom. Oh, you almost ate your cards. Oh, is that right? Oh, we got we got Thaddeus incoming. Boom. If he is off, doesn't matter. Bam. He's gonna get killed. <laughs> We're gonna get a Thaddeus out of it. Whoa! So sick. Hmm. hmm. Kangar Hmdar. Yes! This is a good game. Brawl away, my friends. I have a Thaddeus for you. Alright. Well, it's gonna be a little easier to win the Joust with nothing in your deck. I'm almost out of cards. You're out? Yeah, you're almost out. Of cards. And here's the win play. Watch this. Watch this. Here's the play right here. You know, bam. We have several skeleton knights and a, and a Nugan. Oh, we... Oh, yeah, there he is. He's right in the middle. I was like, oh, wait, what? Yeah, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. So many skeleton knights. Now, he can brawl again, but he does not have a way to deal. Boom. There it is. Bam! We got it! So sick! Toasted! Boom! Yes! That's how we win the games with the Snarstone! Bam! I have a question. I was watching this chess player named uh, Simon Williams, or Ginger GM, because he's a redhead. He's the Ginger Grandmaster, man. 
And anytime he beats someone, he could like, bam, put that in your pipe and smoke it. And I was like, but why? Why is that a thing that's said ever? What's the insulting part of that? Why? What does that mean? What is it about saying, put that in your pipe and smoke it, that's just like, whoa, craziness, man. How old is he? 46 or something? 36, 38, 32, 28, something like that. Bam, zombie chow comes out, boom. What you gonna do, Og Lee? Dude, Simon, Simon Williams is so good. He's so amazing. What is this card he's running? Are we kidding me right now? This guy's gotta be kidding me right now. Gonna pass the turn and say, whoa, now. Soren says, I'm not sure I want to go down the rabbit hole of finding the reasoning of that phrase. Don't, don't you dare, don't! Dude, these guys that run out of small nerd and then just get a big. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is about these big small nerds. Tortola. Tortola, preserve us! Oh, praise be to R and Jesus. Praise be to R and Jesus. Simon Williams is 37. Yeah, I knew, I knew, I knew I was right. I certainly have that one nailed. A mounted reptar! Ah, I am reptar! Ah, I'm really upset with everyone right now. Reptar. Ah. Reptar can't even handle me right now. Down the other way, but seems fine. Hmm, Tortola. All right, what is it going to be? A Warth. Warth and trade and misbehave. No. A Bilefin Hunter, huh? Welcome to the exhibit. I think the Shell Razor seems very strong. The, stand ready. the other one was like a big stat machine, but you know, I want to place the guy down that buffs. Bam! Soren says, so how goes uh, the day 19? It goes, it goes pretty good. It goes pretty good. I'm playing just the funnest ass deck ever, man. We're, we're climbing ranks. Climbing ranks. Feeling dank. <laughs> no, don't, no. Ah! Okay, let's see. Let's see how we do, huh? We'll be walking directly into a swipe if I played out both of these. I'm gonna shadow visions instead of this because I just don't want to go straight into that swipe. This seems excellent. See, without even thinking, just boom, take it. Bam. That's how we do it. Climb five ranks today, I believe. Yeah, I don't even know what we started at. Games are slow as hell. This deck does not run the fast game ooze. I'm ready to learn. The Frost Wolves. Hey, yeah, the Frost Wolves. Mm. Yeah. Oh, boom, bam, ba boom. Mm, the Frost Wolves. You know how we stand. We stand ready. Bam. Yeah, I'm gonna just kill. Shells 
shells. Uh. I haven't run this in so long. I'm surprised it's not giving plus one plus one on the death rattle. Ah, from That was me doing a song based upon that guy. I don't think I even need to heal it. I'm just gonna shadow form. Why am? Shots. Bam. No, I want to win games. I want to win games, okay? Surrender to the plasma. Ten cost, of course. Delay damage, that's exactly right. And uh, summon three minions that died this game. Good. So that way we can just blast him right in his head. Dude, look at that. Eight damage, three minions that died this game. And even though we've had nothing but crappy minions die, it's going to be overwhelming for him. it's done. I'm in the mood to go streaking, you know what I mean? I want those wind streaking things. Bam! Yeah, I'm done playing Hollow Knight. On stream, that is. We'll probably go back 100% at some point. I bleed for Kathleen. Killing it, crushing it. Thrashing it, murdering it. Alright. Now how do I want to chuck back? I think that given that I have a Holy Smite, I keep Holy Nova. If I didn't have a Holy Smite, if it was some other huge ass card, I'd probably chuck back the Holy Nova as well. But I think the Holy Smite gives me enough of an oomph to hang on and be strong. Also got a Sludge Belcher. He's like, yeah, I'm on turn four. I got you, dog. Thanks, Sludge Belcher. You're awesome, man. I was just excited to see the last zones in the big bad fight on big bad fight on stream. Yeah, I mean, I I understand that I did not do the proper finish to Hollow Knight. Like I don't have the true ending under my belt. I need to unlock more content in order to achieve that, which I have some thoughts on how to do. Got my water back. Got my water back. Going away twice in the next month. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Going out of town this weekend, and then I'm going to do a little bit of the PC gaming show the following weekend, and I don't know anything about it yet. I got a big meeting on Thursday about it. Oh. Alright, let's drown it. What inspired you to drink fluids? Thirst. I find thirst to be an inspiration with any fluid. Uh, 
Okay. All right. I have such a hard time shading right here. On either side. It's so hard to shave there. Ah. You do nothing, I do nothing, man. I'm not in a hurry to do something. I'm a priest. I got nothing going on. I just heal all day. It's so hard to shave here. I wonder. I like try to like ah. Uh. <laughs> No, no. Ah, I'm gonna try to uh, do that. It's tough. Huh. I think I'm gonna go for this. Given how slow he's been, I got a Reno. I can maybe also get an Amara O, and then I can rely on my Shadow Form. Shave normally, then use a nose hair trimmer to shave the middle of your upper lip and the corners of your mouth. Ah. That's an interesting play. See, my hand doesn't have a lot of power, but it has a lot of defense in it. So I think if I play into the strong healing that I have via Reno, that I can actually shadow form effectively and taunt effectively. Need you to master. What? I'm not attacking for fear it's a freezing trap, and then I can get a potion of madness to bounce one of his things back to my hand. It appears we are up against a Nazoth hunter, which would immediately make me ask, where's his draw? Hmm. <laughs> Sephrix the Fox says, when you started talking about your defensive hand, I got hugely confused somehow and still thought you were discussing shaving, and I lolled. Truth, the truth. Let's get a small guy out. So. Okay. He probably got real excited when he saw that and was just like, Oh my god! Fuck, man. Really? Gee. What can we get? We can get a pain, a death. It's a lot of good options, so I think that this is a good opportunity to do this. Okay. Take a little pain. It's probably better. Mm. 
No, I think it might not be better. Hmm. I think I'm gonna want a five mana or here. So many death rattles. Seems acceptable. So this is me knowing I'm going to take a billion damage next turn, and that's okay. I think so. What was the record for this deck now? It was 7 and 4 when you left. It's now 20 and 10. It's going to have to hit it with something. I assume his face. Nice! Falling for the bait. Falling for the bait. It's so feeling so great. Okay, let's make sure that we click proper. Lee. He's just gonna play a large man. Okay. Almost certainly, Reno Jackson next turn. Feels good. Oh. Wow. Now, if I had gone for the 10 mana potion. Ah. Uh, I feel dead. It's unclear if I am dead, but I feel dead. Gonna be rich. Let's give this a shot and see what happens, yeah? Maybe I should have gotten... The thing with, with like, a Death Rattle Hunter is that it feels like it would just whiff a lot on the Nazoth. Like, he has 15 cards left in his deck, so I... Yeah, maybe I just should have planned around that. End secrets. Shots. Shots. I don't really think I have a way to win that. Yeah, that was, that was a little bit derpy. I think I just needed to do the, the big Kazakus potion every single time I'm up against a uh, Nizot deck. Eh. Yeah. That's a pretty damn good run out for him. To be able to have secrets, a weapon, Fugen Stalag, and be able to get all that dropped by turn 10. Tranda versus Malfurion. My beloved Turander. My beloved Turander. Shanine says, you seem to fall behind on board a lot with this deck. Could MCT be an idea? Uh, I don't think so. I don't actually think I fall behind on board via being unable to stop it. I think it's a decision issue. Because, I mean, I, I feel pretty damn safe on the board. Or I should say, I feel like I have lots of options to deal with stuff at this point. This is why I'm like not actually making that many changes to this deck. Because it just feels really nice and flexible. I mean, we're winning anyways. Win in games. It's just a question about how to get 100% win rate. Alright, probability of getting Kazakus, huh? What's the probability of getting Kazakus? Let us ask this. What a badass! Look at this guy here. Yes, yes! Ah! What a badass, man. Look at this badass over here. All right, Kazakus number one. Let's go. Fresh from <laughs> that sucks. That is bad for us. 
Alright, Volcanic Potion, okay. Alright, bring it on, Autumn of Dreams. Even though your name isn't that, it's just Autumn Dreams. You know what? How'd that happen too, man? Don't worry about it, don't feel bad about yourself. I get it, I get it, I feel you, man. Alright, here we go. This is how we get Shall the legend, man. Wow. You bastard, huh? I think... Can I make it to turn 10? I don't think so. I think deal 5 damage is good. Oh, that's a shitty 5 mana spell. Go in! Alright. Deal 5 damage. Draw 2 cards. Boom! Okay. I see. That's, that's, that's a tricky card for me to, tricky card for me to deal with, you know. Very, very tricky card to deal with. It's gonna be a tricky card for me to deal with. Um, okay. Well, we can, we got some healing coming. Fulgin is both really helpful and in no way at all helpful. Um. Serve. Yeah. <sighs> Maybe I could have done that another one. I don't know. I just. Uh... God, he's gonna play another huge dude. Oh god. Oh, for God's sake. Okay. Fucking no way. Okay. So how do I do this? I by the holy light. By the holy light, we're gonna be able to stabilize. Because this guy thought it would be a good idea to uproot! <laughs> Never uproot! <laughs> yes! Engaged. He's drawing cards. Yeah. What's it gonna be, Autumn Dreams? Oh, you're done, son. Highly likely done. If I do this, mm. I wonder. So, so this this looks a little odd. But I think this is a better play because I'm never I'm never going to be able to use Potion of Madness. I'm never gonna be able to use Shadow Word Pain, except in a spot like that. So then when he plays a large, scary guy, then we can Vulge in and flip it right on him. How you like that, huh? Boom. Bam. Poo. Poo, that's what I decided to say then. That was my decision, I said it. Take that shit. Tortola preserve us. It's a six ten. Feels alive again. You're telling me, Autumn Dreams, but I know your deck is chock full of nothing but bullshit, man. 
I know your deck. I run your deck. Very well. We can kill it. We can kill it next turn, which is good. Oh, please. On my face. Please. Yes! That's how I enjoy it! Yeah! Hmm. Yeah! Oh, goodness. Here comes the uh, I have no time for games. Boom! Unsubbed for inappropriate jokes. One time. We can snatch a guy with silly Sylvanas. Oh, my. Surprise, motherfucker. Only play one dramatic nerd at a time. Just one. And for that reason, if I can begin to slow him down just slightly and keep my 7-4 and my 5-5 five five going to face, nothing he can do about it. Zip Zippo. Face might very well be the place. <laughs> Sylvanas is still alive and well. We got an entomb! Oh, I think we did. I think we beat a turn two Astral Communion Druid. Even Dwayne ain't a problem for us, man. We won. Let none survive. This deck is unstoppable except for the 11 times that we've lost today alone. Threaten me, Autumn Dreams, I'll threaten you right back, man. You didn't play that deck properly. I know, that's all I ever wanted to play. Bang. Boom. Quest road, we die. What about playing some Gwent? Oh, I might do it at some point, but no rush. I'm in no rush. I'm also in no capacity to draw my low drops. Hey, Excavated Evil, I haven't seen that in ages. what he is, so I'll just run straight into randomness. This might be more useful because he has Tomb Pillagers as well as big stinking guy. Big guy, big guy guy. You know the big guy I'm talking about, Edwin Van Cleef. Edwin Van, please. Hey, it's Curator. Great. To the Something huge would be nice. Thank you. 
Or I could just be like, I'm the rogue now and run down my crystalline oracle. Should play Stardew Valley again sometime. I miss that game. That game's great. I should play that again sometime. There's a lot of games I'm excited about. Playing Oxygen Not Included this Friday. I'm excited about that. Playing Dota tomorrow. I'm excited about that. Boy, I'm glad I got my deaths. Boy, I'm glad I got my deaths. At last, He's never really gonna have huge, gigantic boards. I think this is amazing. Probably the, the turn flip. Touch that! Did you fully 100% 100% start yet? No, I haven't. I haven't, 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 haven't. Thank you. Thank you, baby. Thank you, baby. Oh, I bet I'll make him crazy. Is it better for me to run out, Raza? Yeah, it is, isn't it? It is, isn't it? I think that's actually just... Come on, healing. I think this is better. He can deposit more resources into killing that, um, but he has to deal with Raza, and if he doesn't, I have a great turn. He must, he must deal with Raza. I expect that he does a few more things, and then he runs down um, Edwin Van Cleef. If he has the second conceal, that just blows us out immediately, and that just hurts. It hurts really badly. A tactical quickly. What? My Sylvanas's. So you got another one right there. Boom. Oh, we're dirty. I have no time for games. I don't have any time for games. Now, I do have to be careful of the fact that he can have some ridiculous bursts. I want to keep track of how many eviscerates he's used. One. One eviscerate. Which means he now has the ability to do 14... 14... 18... 18 burst damage? 18 or so burst damage? Which is very, very quite so scary for us. I'm going to answer my own question here. If I play this, I don't think it refreshes the hero power, right? I cannot do. I I I I I I I I I I I I I I This is good, because he has used a sap. It's only four cards. If he gadgets in, that's when it can begin to become hard for us. But dealing four damage and summoning two guys is really nice. I actually would be completely fine if this died. No offense. Oh, good. Oh, good, this dragon here. Wow. This is a really nice... 
nice turn for us. So, what I do is I hit here first. I will bind you. Hit here second. And then I'm going to throw out the Kazakus Potion to kill everything. And because I just killed those two, there's a higher probability that those are the ones that are summoned. Now, do I want to use Holy Nova or do I want to use Shadow Word? Amazing. I think I want to use the Shadow Word. I think this is higher value. And, and my reasoning is that I want to be able to punch through against Van Cleef or punch through against cloaked targets, and I have a couple ways to do that, and a naked Entomb I can also, or a naked Van Cleef I can also take out. Praise be. <laughs> ha! Boom! That's how we do it. Pow! All right, we're about to we're about to go streaking. The streaking is about to begin. I'm so hungry, man. I want to eat real bad. I keep looking down at like my empty plate that just has like olive oil and salt and pepper at the bottom. think that we always mulligan Awaken the Matrix. I'm going to use a restroom so that way I don't have to stop streaming. Because don't stop, never stop, always stream. I'm going to show off my shoes again in a moment. It's going to be amazing. 